Yo, what's going on guys? It's t -Bag, and in this video I want to show you three guns that have been very unpopular throughout Battlefield 1's lifespan, but now after the new Time to Kill patch they are simply amazing. I haven't fully read the entire patch notes, so I'm not entirely sure what it is that makes these guns so deadly now, but they just feel so much better after the patch. If you want to read the patch note yourself, the link is down in the description below. So let's start with probably one of my least used weapons in Battlefield 1 period, the RSC 1917. This is a slow firing medic rifle with only 5 rounds in the magazine and one in the chamber. It doesn't sound too good at first but after the patch it just got amazing. It was a 2 shot kill weapon up to around 50 meters and now after the patch it's a 2 shot kill up to 70 freaking meters. So it's basically like a semi auto sniper rifle at this point. Initially it did come with some major drawbacks such as the huge recoil and the rate of fire. They are still drawbacks but less so after the patch because the rate of fire got increased from 163 rounds per minute to 180 rounds per minute. And the recoil got reduced and I'm talking about the vertical as well as the horizontal recoil. In the right hands this gun can tear people apart now. If you play a little bit more passively and engage from a little bit further back it's absolutely amazing. The two shot kill feels absolutely amazing although from close range it's still a little bit tricky to use especially with that 6 round mag. That's why I advise you to have the auto revolver as your sidearm. From close range the auto revolver can also two shot people so be sure to give that a try. The next weapon is one I never thought I would ever lay my hands on ever again in Battlefield 1 because it just didn't fit my playstyle at all and that is the Madison MG. For whatever reason it feels pretty damn solid now. I would recommend going with the Storm variant for better recoil control and go with the AA side for a clearer vision when aiming down the side. Still the biggest drawback is that this giant top fat magazine still constantly blocks your view. But besides that it is a pretty solid gun. The rate of fire is pretty good which I believe is 540 rounds per minute. And now obviously because of the new time to kill patch generally it takes one less bullet to down your enemies. And as you can see by the clips with a good situational awareness and good position you can cause absolute mayhem to your enemies. I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys never used this gun or have simply forgotten about this. But guys trust me it's freaking awesome now go give it a try. And now for the final gun, it's yet again a light machine gun, I'm talking about the Lewis gun. Now I've always been a fan of the Lewis gun in Battlefield 1, in my opinion it's the perfect gun to learn the mechanics, like for noobs and stuff like that, it's very easy to use, it has a bipod, it has a 47 round magazine and it doesn't overheat, at least if you choose the low weight variant. Also it's super accurate, it does have a slow firing rate of 480 rounds per minute though, but with the new time to kill it's still pretty damn amazing. If for whatever reason your aim sucks nowadays, try out this gun, it's just so accurate. And for extreme long range you can use the bipod as I mentioned for pretty much laser beam accuracy. So if you are having one of those days where you can't hit your target even if your life dependent on it, I know I have some of these days every now and again, take a step back and give this gun a go, trust me you won't be disappointed. So guys be sure to try these guns out and let me know how they feel in your hands with the new time to kill patch. Like the video if you found it useful or enjoyed it, subscribe if you haven't already and I see you guys next time.